It was a shameful chapter in American history that lasted well into the 20th century, the lynching of African Americans to both punish and intimidate a whole race of people. Ending such atrocities and the great racial divide in the United States was one reason a group of activists founded the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or NAACP, in 1909. We pursued the goal of stopping the practice of uh, lynching, literally the hanging of black men from trees and burning of them alive for about 60 years until we won, but we won. Benjamin Todd Jealous is the NAACP's current president. In 2008, at the age of 35, he became the youngest person to lead the nation's oldest and largest civil rights organization. We brought the groundbreaking lawsuit to the U.S. Supreme Court that outlawed segregation. It was the NAACP's biggest victory, Brown versus the Board of Education, a 1954 landmark Supreme Court ruling that ended racial segregation in public schools by striking down a 60-year-old doctrine known as separate but equal. Ted Shaw is director counsel with the NAACP's Legal Defense Fund. Brown was about dismantling a system of white supremacy. Uh, that subordinated African-American students and deprived them of equal educational opportunity. From the ballot box to the classroom, the NAACP has promoted social justice and served as an important voice for African-Americans. The organization grew using churches to recruit hundreds of thousands of members and helped to galvanize support for the 1964 Civil Rights Act. The legislation struck down laws that sought to maintain racial segregation. And the Image Award goes to Jennifer Hudson. Forty-six years later, the NAACP has gone from pressing presidents on civil rights to pressing the country to recognize black talent and to help all minorities. The global village we live in is browning. Three of ten people in this country are people of color. 85% of them will be women, minorities, and immigrants. Rosalind Brock is chairman of the NAACP's governing board of directors. At 36, she's the youngest and the first woman to hold the position. She says one of her goals is to recruit more young people to become civil and human rights activists. We want to instill that, that hope and optimism again in this new generation to have them aspire to become actively involved in something and change that's happening in the nation. But make no mistake, the pain of discrimination is still felt in America. While racism has not completely disappeared in the United States, the election of Barack Obama as the nation's first black president leads some to wonder if the NAACP is still needed. The head of the organization says without a doubt, yes. We're not the National Association for the Advance of a colored person, of a person of color. We're in this for people. So we're very much fighting to make this one nation, one level of opportunity. Every kid can go to a good school and every worker can work at a good job. Um, and that's where our focus is today. As the NAACP begins the first year of its second century, its motto is One Nation, One Dream, meaning the organization will fight to make sure every person, regardless of their race, is treated fairly and can reach their full potential. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, Washington.